Hi everyone, another day and another video. Today we are talking about uh, side neck turtles. <laughs> uh, wait a minute, come here. Yeah, side neck turtles. Uh, why they call them side neck turtles? Uh, you see they have different colors, first of all. Uh, they, um, they call them side neck turtles because uh, unlike the other turtles, uh, when they want to hide, uh, they put their neck uh, sideways in the shell. You see that? This is how they protect their head. These guys are coming uh, from South America. Uh, and uh, you can find them uh, in almost every country in South America, like uh, Argentina, Brazil, Ecuador, Paraguay, Uruguay. Yeah, all these countries in South America, you can find them. Uh, the side neck turtles, uh, they are uh, coming uh, from uh, you can find them in three continents South America, uh, Africa and Australia um, all side neck, side neck turtles they are living the, in South Hemisphere uh, there is no side neck turtles in uh, North Hemisphere interesting right? yeah uh, these guys are excellent swimmer in nature they are living in pond sometimes you can find them in the river uh, but as a pet, they are quite easy to take care of. They are, they are very hardy animals and uh, you can feed them with fish, small fish. Uh, they, can, they eat also in nature uh, aquatic vegetations. That means you can feed them a little bit of uh, vegetables and uh, krills and stuff like that. These guys like uh, the, to swim in deep waters. They are, like I said, they are excellent swimmers, as you can tell from these uh, hands and the shape of the shell. You, you see, it's very narrow. Unlike turtles, uh, they are the the shell is round shape. These guys, you see the aerodynamic shape that makes them perfect swimmers in the water. And uh, I like the way the shells look like. Anyway, like I said, they are coming from uh, South America and uh, for keeping them uh, as a pet, you have to provide for them UVB lamp and heat lamp. Most of the times they spend their time inside the water, but sometimes they come out for basking. That means you have to provide for them a basking area. And uh, because they are growing a little bit bigger, uh, uh, you have to uh, provide for them a big aquarium with an island inside or if you have a pond in your home if you are living in a uh, house like you have a pond excellent for them because they like to swim and if you attend to breed them you have to provide for them a land area with sand and stuff like that so they can come out if you are keeping a pair of them yeah, in general, um, keeping them uh, as a pet is easy peasy. Uh, just they need a big uh, aquarium uh, with a place to ba with a basking area. Like you have to provide an island in the aquarium. Uh, you can uh, use uh, rocks uh, or uh, you can use a piece of wood or whatever you're comfortable with. But uh, UV lamp is very important for them. Uh, UV lamp and heat lamp is very important for them. Like uh, here, the uh, temperature is uh, normally between 28 to 32. Uh, you can keep them outside, uh, outdoor, uh, no problem at all. But if you are living in a cold country, uh, cold weather is not good for reptiles in general. You know that. So. Uh, Another thing about them, um, when they are small, when they are babies, you can feed them like every day. Um, you can feed them turtle pellets and turtle diets and small fish, krills and a little bit of vegetables. When they grow a little bit bigger like juvenile size, you have to feed them uh, every two days. But when they are full grown, you feed them only once a week. But these guys, they are making water messy, you know, they make it dirty. So you need a very strong filtration system in your aquarium to filter the water. And once you throw the food for them, 
whatever they eat, so it's eaten. But what remains, you have to remove from the aquarium. So you don't want your aquarium, your water looks uh, dirty and all. Even though in nature, they are very hardcore animals and they can survive uh, in a very harsh environment. I mean, uh, polluted water and stuff. But this is not an excuse to uh, keep the water dirty and all messy. That means you have to clean it uh, regularly. Uh, and keep it clean. One more thing you keep in mind uh, when you are touching uh, reptiles, uh, especially turtles or uh, iguanas, stuff like that. Uh, after you are touching them, you make sure that you're washing your hands. Um, it's because of salmonella. <laughs> yeah. It's easy peasy, just uh, wash your hands with soap and um, you will be fine. Uh, these guys are amazing, uh, but um, in general, like I always say, uh, turtles and uh, reptiles, they like to be left alone. They don't like to be handled. But these guys are doing fine. Uh, they are really docile and uh, pretty harmless. Pretty harmless animals. But uh, if you are looking for a very unique face, uh, Reptile, uh, and check check how how they hide the head inside the shell. They are beautiful animals. Uh, like I said, they are easy to take care of, and uh, they are not growing very big. The and the shell is beautiful. They look amazing, and uh, it's beautiful to have them as pet in home. Or if you have a pond, you have to, you can keep a group of them no problem at all with a group of fish if they are, the fish are big they're not gonna attack fish uh, they are doing fine with other fish around yeah this was uh, for uh, side neck Joffrey's side neck turtles and I hope you enjoy the video if um, you know this uh, in the video sometimes I forget to mention all the facts and all the information uh, if you have questions um, about reptiles or any other animals, you can ask me in comment below. I come back to you as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, and I see you in the next one.